another day, another dollar. So this is actually two days after I filmed the rest of the crap in this. And maybe I'll keep on filming after this as well on other days. So one thing I have noticed on me little rides out is there's quite a lot of people out walking that you wouldn't normally see out walking. So by that maybe I'm stereotyping but the usual couch potatoes potato being the shape of them and they're out slopping around the streets trying to fit between trees in the woods things like that I just wonder whether they think that the government guidelines to go out once a day for exercise is a requirement rather than a privilege and they're thinking I can't wait for this to be away so I can get back to me sofa and me microchips bloody hell I'm going to be like a pencil when I times this finish pencil flushing it maybe a kinder egg oh, quite a hot breath now I mean pedaling my backside off for ages they're trying to keep some down fitness it would be nice to come out the other side of all this not totally unfit you know I didn't think about getting a turbo trainer because if you're going to be stuck inside for god knows how long I was stuck in the garden I thought at least it's a way to keep fit and then I looked at the price of said items. Jesus Christ! It cost nearly as much as this crappy bike did. And you think, oh, it's an investment for the future. No, it's not. It's an investment for such time as it takes till all this is over. And then what? Would I continue to use a turbo trainer? No. Would I bollocks? I would much rather be out in the cold, wet and mud and sat in my bloody lounge watching Teletubbies eating a twirl on a turbo trainer I can't think of anything less exciting and I know there's Zwift and that but still it just looks dull as fuck to me that's what you could say but riding around in little circles so you can go down little bankings up the other side on a bit of dirt is dull as well and you'd be right it is dull but at least I'm outside and you get a quarter of a second smile while you go down the hill don't you you don't get any smile doing Zwift on your turbo trainer at lounge not unless you're having a wank while you're doing it and that's just dirty right away from man man look angry man not want disease so I was just prattling on for the longest time about all kinds of stuff and then noticed that the camera was flat against the chest mount in other words dog shit footage probably quite literally the way it was looking so basically to summarise because I don't want to say it again you don't want to hear it anyway big storm tree fall trail block mess clear it maybe Sorry, bag. Not bother. All going to be locked in house. Like him out of E17. Looking forward to with all of this is in six weeks, twelve weeks, however long it is until we get out. You know, all these women usually religiously go to the hairdressers every week, every other week. And have their hair coloured and all that. And at the 
hours none of them can do it so when they come out all you're gonna see is like an inch and a half of roots showing and they're all gonna look like Tina bloody Turner and it's gonna be awesome it's simply the best your hair looks like a fucking mess getting flooded out with people now the hotel log roll nice to sell an old orange peel and bog roll give it a wipe get it off and give it a zesty smell at the same time what could be nicer than that eh less time bashing a tree with his dog ball stick more time educating his kids about socially distancing I wouldn't have had to ride in the bloody brambles then oh let's go for a walk in nature don't forget your telephone so you can watch cartoons you know the funny thing is even though I'm just pottering around Chester I'm actually quite enjoying these little rides out because of where I'm riding or anything else, just because it's nice to get out, isn't it? It makes you feel alive. <laughs> <laughs> 